when I first came to this mountain top, I was very small. I remember I was so small that I was only as tall as the door handle. I had to stand up on my tiptoes to be able to open the door. I was six years old. Now I'm ten. My name is Lobzang Namgal. I go to school in a monastery in the dark in India. Every morning we begin our day with the morning exercises outside in the clearing below our school. We see how far we can stretch, if we can touch our toes, if we can bend and twist. We sing at the same time, but sometimes we lose our breath by singing and stretching. I know it's good to exercise. This way we can be strong. I live at school. We all do. Every day I wake up at 6 a.m. Splash water on my face from the stream. The water is always very cold and it wakes me up right away. I always wash my hands and mouth with soap, even my head. My friends and I are always discovering ways to play in between what we have to do. We play hide and seek with our reflections in the mirror. We wrap our clothes around ourselves and we flip and wrap them again and again. After getting dressed, it's time for breakfast. We eat flat bread balanced on teacups. My friends think breakfast looks like spaceships. We slurp butter tea. It's salty. It's not like sweet tea in other places, but good for you in a cold place like Ladakh. Butter tea helps to keep you warm and bread fills you up. We also clean our own dishes. It's just what we do. After breakfast, we are ready for school. We begin with the prayer. Then we learn Buddha's teachings. Buddha said it is best not to swear. You should never kill. And please, don't throw stones at glass windows. Buddha says the most important thing in life is to be as good as you can and to study a lot. We study outside under trees. We sit on chupkas which are wooden boxes. We cross our legs to sit on them comfortably. We learn English, Tibetan, Maths and Philosophy. I have learned so much here that I think I want to become a teacher too or a philosopher. <laughs> Learning languages like English helps you to talk to other people and tell them what you think. I'd like to talk to foreigners in English. I tell them about all the animals here and how we should protect them and never kill them. Of all the lessons in school, I love debate the most. You never know what will happen and who will yell from where. You have to clap your hands to make your point, ask questions, demand answers and be sure of what you believe. You have to make your point in a loud voice and be sure of yourself, otherwise you will lose. But then if you say the wrong answer, you will lose anyway. So it's just best to be loud. I know I'm happiest when I'm debating or playing. When debate is done, it's time to eat again. But we have to set up our lunch mats first. Then we bring out the big pots of beans and rice. We take turns cooking each day and serving food too. We all help with everything. It's how we can live together. Meals 
are the only things all of us are quiet. After lunch, we play carom, chess and my favourite, kabaddi. Kabaddi is a game where you have to draw a line in the dust with a stick. You have to say Kabaddi 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 without taking a breath as you run away from the other team. You have to keep on saying it as fast as you can Kabaddi 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 until you stop saying it or you're caught. Then you lose. It's a good wild rough game. I love it. When I have time to myself, I close my eyes and meditate. I talk to God because I do have questions for Him about the children in other places. What do they wish for and dream? Then I remember that God made all of us, even me. We play, dream, eat and sleep. Everyone does. When I'm a monk, I live on a mountain top, debate and play cricket. I know I will be happy because I feel it in my heart. In my life, I hope I can help other people to feel happy in their hearts too. Jump, jump, see,